numbers if you are in grade 4 then this video is for you today we are going to look at a subtraction of numbers remember the last time I told you that when you're going about addition of numbers you have three methods but I taught you in depthly two methods and one of those methods is the use of abacus which I want you to look at the next video look at the previous video to see what we talked about that today we are going to look at subtraction of numbers hey the way you're looking at me it seems this is the first time of seeing me and watching my video oh that means you've been missing a lot of chance of being ahead of your peers in school you know what to catch up hit the subscribe button now and then you can get a regular feed of our tutorial video if you're in grade 4 this video is just for you and today we'll be looking at the subtraction of two four digit numbers Remember, I'm going to teach you two methods to go about this, just as we did in our last and previous video. We're going to look at the expanded method and the short or digit method, short digit method. Are you excited? Let's look at the first sample question, the first example question we're looking at. Ah, I guess you've seen the sample on the screen and uh, the question is subtract 2113 from 4386 now you are asked to subtract this from what this now did you notice that this is the larger number and this is the smaller number remember I told you I'm going to teach you how to go about this using two method one the expanded form method and two the short digit method so whichever method is good by you go ahead to go go ahead to master it and learn how to solve subtraction of numbers for digit numbers that way are you ready now let's go now we're going to look at the expanded form method first of all remember just as we did in just as we did in the addition we are going to go about doing same in this now the first question you are giving is four three eight and what and six now if we expand this there's something you notice that four is in the what thousand very good that shows you are following that will give you what four thousand plus we are expanding this number three is in the what hundred very good three hundred eight is in the words in the unit and that will give you 80 plus six eight eight is in the thousand sorry and that will give you 80 and six is in the unit and that will give you what six now let's go about expanding these two now you see two is in the thousands very good Ma plus one is in the hundred very good plus one is in the tens that is ten plus three is in the unit that will give you what three now remember when we did addition of numbers we added these two numbers but this time around we are doing we're carrying out subtraction of numbers now when you subtract these numbers what are you going to get now let's look at that 4 minus 2 we give us what 2 0 0 and what 0 then you add 3 minus 1 we give us what 2 and that will give you 0 and 0 plus 8 minus 1 will give us what 7 very good and that will give you 7 and 0 6 minus 3 will give you what that will give you 3 so our job now is to add these numbers together when you add these numbers together what are you going to have you have your 2000 you have your 200 in their place you have your 70 and you have your what three now if you add this number together you're going to have what zero plus zero plus zero plus three that will give you what a three 
0 plus 0 plus 7 will give you a what? A 7. And 0 plus 2 will give us what? A 2. Then 2 plus nothing will give us what? A 2. Then you see that if you subtract these two numbers using the expanded form, you are going to have 2000 273 hooray that's the answer did you get the same thing i know you've been watching it and you can do it i guess you can do it now let's look at how you can go about solving this same question using the short form method i guess you understand this now let's go we're going to use the short form method this time around to go about this same type of solution now take note of the answers you got we're going to look at the short method. Now, this short method, we're going to arrange these numbers in their thousands, in the hundred, in the tens, and what? And units. Four is in the thousands, three is in the hundreds, eight is in the tens, and six is in the units. Now we have R2 is in the thousands, one is in the hundreds, one is in the tens, and three in the units. Then you do what? You subtract. Now let's go about doing this. You have six. You are subtracting 3 from it. When you have 6 numbers, you remove 3 from it. You're going to have what? A 3. Now you have 8 numbers. You take away 1 from it. You're going to have a what? A 7. Now you have 3. And you take away 1 from 3. You're going to have a 2. Now you have 4, you take away 2 from 4, you are going to have what? A 2. Now do you see that 4, 3, 8, 6, minus 2, 1, 1, 3 will be equal to what? 2,273. Isn't that easy? Now, whenever, whatever, whenever your teacher gives you a question like this, you can go about using the short method. I am teaching you these two methods so that you can see the one that is much more easier for you to go about solving subtraction of four digit numbers. Now, can you fill in blank spaces when you are asked to fill in blank spaces? The next sample you're seeing on the screen will show you that. So sure, in this sample, you are asked to find the unknown number n in words 6254 minus n equal to 3576. What is n? Now, this is the kind of question you can be given in school. Now, before we go about solving this question, I want you to know this logic. Now, what is the logic? If you have a number and the number is carrying plus in front of it, if this number crosses an auto sign to the other side, it becomes words minus three. And if you have a number and it's carrying a negative sign in front of it over here, if it crosses the negative sign, if it crosses the all quarto sign to the other side, it becomes a positive two. Now take note of this logic when you are carrying out questions like this. Now how do we apply this logic? Now pay attention. Now we have a number and that number is carrying a negative sign n when it crosses this equal to sign it becomes what a plus now we have a number here it's carrying a positive sign because there is no sign in front of it so whenever there is no sign in front of any number it is a positive number this is a positive number because it has no sign right behind it Good. Now, if this is a positive number and it crosses the alcohol to sign, it's going to become what? Negative. Very good. That's a brilliant good student. Now, let's look at this. We are having uh, 6, 2, 5, and what? And 4. And uh, this other number is coming over here. It gives you 3, 5, 7, and what? 6. Now, remember that... 
remember that your n is going to the other side it becomes what plus what n we are not going to write plus remember i told you if any number doesn't have any sign in, in at the front it shows it's a positive word number it's having a positive sign so this time around we are going to look at the subtraction of these two numbers now which method do you want us to use the short form method good so let's try using the short form method we have the thousand we have the hundred we have the tens and the unit so this is what six two five and four and this is three five seven and six you're asked to what to subtract now what will our result be now let's go you are asked to subtract 4 from 6. Is it possible? Not at all. So what you do is to take 1 from here into this point to make this what? 14. So 14 minus 6 will give you what? 14 minus 6 will give you what? 8. So the result will be 8. Now let's go again. Now, what is remaining here? Since you take away 1 here, you have what? 4 remaining. 4 minus 7, it's not possible. Then you take 1 from here to this point. It makes the 4 what? It makes the 4 14. 14 minus 7 will give us what? 7. Are you following? The next thing we have 1 here. 1 minus 5 is not possible then you you take 1 from here to this point it makes this what 11 and here we have what 5 remaining 11 minus 5 will give us what 6 good now what do we have remaining here 5 very good 5 minus 3 will give us a what a 2 so our result will be 2,670 what 8 so our n will be equal to 2,678 did you see that very very easy so whenever you are asked to go about solving questions like this remember our logic when a positive number crosses the upward sign it becomes a what a negative number and when a negative number or a minus number crosses the upward sign to the other side it becomes a what positive number have that at the back of your mind and you will be able to solve questions like this now i want to look at one final solution and i guess you will follow me as we solve that final question are you seeing it on the screen now let's go solving all right here you're asked to look for letter what letter m and letter m is the unknown letter and so you have m minus three five six seven equal to two three eight four now did you remember our logic did i hear you say a plus sign crosses to become a minus and a minus sign process crosses to become a what a plus sign now we're going to apply that here now we have m m is carrying what sign a positive sign because there is no sign in front of it now 2385 is carrying a what a positive sign because there is no sign in front of it now this is carrying a negative sign because you can see it right here it's carrying a negative sign so if minus three five six nine crosses to this part it becomes a what positive number very good student so you have your m to be equal to what two three eight four this cross is to give you plus three five six and what and seven now we're going to add these two numbers to get the value of m we're going to look at our short form method hundred tens and what units so we have our two three eight and what four and we have our three five six and seven remember you are what you are adding the two numbers now let's go we're, we're going to add these two numbers to give us 
to give us the value we need now you have a four you're adding what seven four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so four plus seven will give us what eleven you write one and then you take over one to this part that's the remainder now one plus eight will give us what nine nine plus six ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and what fifteen you write your what you write a five and you take what you take the one one plus three will give us what four and you're adding five to four four five six seven eight and what nine do we have any remainder no so finally we'll have r2 plus 3 will give us what 5 so you see that this plus this will give us this so our m will be equal to what 5951 so you see it's easy subtracting two four digit numbers can be very very easy if you know quite what you are doing of course you're a brilliant student you guys are brilliant and i want you to take your time look at these few sample questions and use it to solve numerous questions on subtraction of two four digit numbers it, of course it's quiz time can you see these quizzes on the screen those quizzes are meant for you to go about solving them remember i told you you get the correct answer drop it on my comment section of this video and i'm gonna give you a bonus don't tell your mommy i told you that hey don't let your mommy do that school quizzes for you tell your mommy of course i can do it myself because we want to make you a super duper mathematician see you in our next class